Bass Geek here. And today we're gonna talk about my favorite June baits or categories, whichever. I wanna make sure you guys know we put out new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you tune in, ring that bell so you get the notifications. If you aren't subscribed, please do. That's right, guys. We're gonna talk about my favorite June baits. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you basically my top three, but uh, some of them might be categories. Like we might give you two out of the top water category, right? Let's jump right into this. It's gonna be a quick and dirty video and let's start from the top down. How's that? We're gonna start from the top down. Now you guys already know I love a walking bait. This is one of my new favorites. This is the Boyo by Hedden. It is incredible. It is a heavy little bait. It's a one knocker. It's got a tungsten, a weight transfer. And let me tell you, you can cast this thing a country mile. And that's about three regular miles. So don't ask in the comments. <laughs> One of my favorite colors right here, Bone. It's a great color to start with. I'll tell you, when it comes to top waters, I throw two colors, a translucent and a Bone, 90% of the time. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a category. This is my other. It's kind of what I follow up a lot of times with this bait, especially if I'm out in open water. And this is a Rico popper. I love my Ricos, guys. I know they're expensive. There's a lot of stuff about them, but there's a lot of great poppers out there from Booyah to, I've even said I like the Strike King popper because it walks so well. So again, a great popper. I think it's hard to beat a Rico, but if you can't see spending that much money on one, look at some other poppers. It's a great follow-up bait to the walking bait. And like I said, really 90% of the time, two colors, you can get away with three, bone, a translucent, and black. Now let's cover the rest of the water column pretty much. You can fish these bad boys from top to bottom. I mean you can drag them on the bottom, you can wake them on top. I need to do a video about that, I know. We'll, we'll do that this year. But like I was saying, another category. So I like my five six inch swim baits. I like those individual swim baits. And a lot of times when it gets tough, I'll go down to an underspin. What I like about an underspin, or at least this underspin, which is the VMC, is that you can fish it weedless through blowdowns, brush piles, that sort of thing. You can rig this the same way, but a lot of times I'm fishing those ledges and I prefer an open hook. So if I'm fishing the bank or the shoreline, I'm gonna go closed or Texas rigged. If I'm fishing open water ledges, always an open hook. Last but not least, the bottom, guys. This can be a finesse or like it's rigged up right here. It can be a power finesse technique. I love this on the ledges. Try not to get a hook in my eye. I love this on the ledges. This is a Voss screw-in weight. Now, if you're using something like Z-Man's or a Strike King, a Laztec, you wanna make sure you get push-in weights. The screw-ins are pain in the okay? One of my favorite colors to throw is the Red Bug. It is a great color. Now, I categorize the Nico rig kind of as if a wacky rig and a shaky head had a baby. You got to wait and it's wacky rig. I'm telling you, it's great. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about this rig. I just use the wacky tool. You know, you can use, there's a lot of different ways, cheaper ways. You know, I just go buy a wacky tool and then buy some O-rings from Advance and put on there. It works. Like I said, that is a heavyweight. That's a three eighths ounce weight because I'm gonna fish this deep. I will actually, and this is uh, from a local guy, this is a push-in weight, but that's like three quarters ounce. Now, something I will actually do if I don't have bigger weights is I will actually shove a nail weight up in here along with that screw in so that I can get it out there and get it deeper. Now, you can lighten all this up and fish it. You can skip it, it skips so well. Under docks, you can fish it with a super light weight, like a 3 16 or a 1 8 You can fish it up shallow. 
and with a finesse style four inch worm or so. The great thing about the Nico rig is you can fish it from top to bottom and you're still gonna get that awesome wacky setup and you can even drag it and get that tail wiggle on bottom if you got hard bottom. So you're gonna get a little bit of sound transmission and that sort of shaky head style stand up tail wiggle. That's one of my favorite techniques. A couple of worms that I actually like to use on it. The Magnum Trick Worm, okay? The Magnum Trick Worm, that's a big one. This worm right here, it looks bigger than it is. It's actually like a six inch worm. It's just real girthy, if you know what I mean. One of the reasons why I like it so much. And something else I really love to do is use kind of a shad color. The Yum Dinger is great for this but you can use pretty much any worm you want. The hook that I like, I like this pretty much shallow to deep. This is a one alt, but it is a Mustad wacky Nico rig hook, okay? It's a straight shank hook, but it's it's not a super heavy gauge wire, but it's, it's not gonna bend out. And when I'm throwing, this is a medium heavy fast action. So when I'm out there on the ledges and I make a long cast, I wanna make sure that I get a good hook set and don't bend the hook out with this. I'm gonna set the hook and I'm gonna work them in. So that hook does not fail me. The Mustad Wacky slash Nico rig hook does the job. Rod reel and line, I'm gonna use a fast reel, a seven or an eight. I like an eight for this technique. But if you finesse down, you can use a spinning rod on this. Like I said, lighter line. It can be a very finesse technique. So that's it guys, that's my three favorite baits for June. It gets hot here and the fish generally go deep. If I can give you a quick tip on what to do in June and August, look for three things. Deep fish, current, go up the river, up the creeks that are running in. There's oxygen content there, you're gonna catch them there. So rivers and creeks with active water, and grass, green grass, if you've got it in your lakes. All right, so you guys know the drill. Make sure you tell me what your three favorite June baits are. I wanna hear, and maybe I'll go try them. Like it if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications. I wanna say hello to all the new subscribers out there. It has been crazy. I know you guys love the shorts, but make sure you come in and you watch the long play videos too. It helps the channel. And as always, you guys rock.